Hi, uh, this is Andrew, working on some statistics problems in Central Tendency. Uh, the next one I'm going to work on is the, is the mean. Uh, so uh, my job is to find the mean in a distribution uh, looks like 10 scores. So I use a tool called cram101.com, which I found online. It makes solving statistics problems pretty easy because everything's formatted for you. So let's go to cram101. And this is the menu of the stats lab. Uh, we'll go down to distribution central tendency. There it is, the, the mean. So clicking on the mean. Uh, the first thing it asks us is the number of data points. Uh, in my homework, I have 10. So we're going to select 10. Uh, and then we have a, a table where we need to put in the scores. We can use random data, uh, which is nice if you just want to do exercises back and forth to see how you're doing. Fixed data, which they have a, an example uh, that helps you learn through this. We're just going to jump right into the homework. Uh, it's pretty simple for us to do this. So let's just go through and put the data in. 36 is the first value. Uh, 38 the second, 42 the third, 46, 18, 22, 93, 65, 67, and 13. Okay, uh, let's go down. The next thing we would do uh, typically is just kind of jump right into solve it. We're going to plot this out when we're finished. So. One of the options that they give you here in, in this tool is uh, options for a plot. So the first thing they suggest is order the data numerically. Uh, let's put it in numerical order. So we're going to do that. Smallest value being 13 now and the largest value 93. So everything has been arranged. Uh, really easy for plotting. Uh, again, for an option for the plot, we'll need to pick a number of intervals, which groups the data into smaller buckets. Uh, this is an arbitrary level. Uh, so we'll just take five. The upper level of our distribution is 93. Uh, and again, the lower limit, 13. That gives us a range of the distribu distribution, which is 80, which is basically taking 13 from 93. To get the interval size, uh, you take 80 and divide it by five and round it up. So the width of each of our intervals will be 17. So here are, here are five uh, intervals with a width of 17 each. Uh, each of the intervals has had 0.5 subtracted from it so that we make sure that we have mutually exclusive intervals that values can only fall into one interval or the other. Uh, and again, since we're going to be plotting, we're going to get the frequency. Uh, so we go back to our scores up here and we basically find out from 12.5, 29.5, how many scores would fit into that interval. That says three, let's just verify that. And yeah, these three will fit in, uh, 36 will not. Okay, so we have three, four, one, one, one as our frequency. Okay, now let's solve for the mean. Okay, to solve for the mean, this is our formula. We need to take the sum of the scores in the distribution and divide it by n, which is 10. So the sum of our scores is 440. That's going back to, again, our scores. Adding all these up, we get 440 is the value. And the number of scores in the distribution is 10. So 440 divided by 10, we have a mean of 44. Uh, now that we've set it up for a plot, let's go ahead and plot our histogram, which we can now see the distribution very easily. Uh, our interval here, our second interval, we would call it 44 is the mean, which is right about here. So uh, you can see that in this particular distribution, because we have, it's kind of interesting because the scores are kind of bunched up at the lower end. The mean, you know, as a measure of central tendency, you know, is, is over here as where most people would, might guess would be over here. Uh, that's the mean. Thank you.